प्रभु की सामर्थ प्रोग्राम में आज मैं आपका स्वागत करता हूं आप यहां पर क्रूज देख रहे हैं और आप देख रहे हैं इन कांटों इन कीलों को इस क्रूज को आप देख रहे हैं इस कांटों के ताज को मालूम है कि ये मसीह ने ये क्यों सह लिए क्यों इन कांटों को क्यों इन कीलों की मार को क्यों इन सब चीजों को सह लिया सिर्फ इसलिए क्योंकि वो पाप जो हमने किए हैं उन पाप का बदला हमें ना मिले सिर्फ इसलिए कि उस गुनहे का गुनाह का बोझ जो इतना भारी है था और हम नहीं उठा सकते थे आप नहीं उठा सकते थे यीशु मसीह ने उनको उठाया कि आपको बहुत बरकत दे मैं चाहता हूं आज इस मैसेज को जो मैंने आपके लिए खास तौर से प्रिपेयर किया है समझें कि प्रभु आपसे प्यार करता है गॉड लव्स यू एंड दैट ही विल बाइंड योर ब्रोक इन हार्ट आई प्रे दैट एज यू See this message. God will bless you. Psalms 51 and verse 17. I'm going to read it for you in English, and I will explain it to you in Hindi and in English as well. It says like this: The sacrifices of God, the sacrifices of God, are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, Thou will not despise. David is saying that. If I have to sacrifice anything to you that is not going to be a ram or a bull or a goat or a sheep but if I have to sacrifice anything to you that is going to be my broken spirit David why is your spirit so broken you know why my spirit is so broken my spirit is so broken because I've sinned against the Lord well why do you care about the Lord so much You know folks I care about the Lord so much because he has put his confidence in a man like me. I was a shepherd boy and I used to take care of my father's sheep and God had his eyes fixed on me and he picked me up from being a shepherd boy and he raised me up to an stature of a king and he trusted me. that i will take care of his people with his standard but look what i have done for the sake to please my flesh i have killed the husband of a woman and not only i have killed the husband of that woman i slept with her and i grieved the heart of the lord and i forgot that i was made king to protect them but instead of protecting them i have misused my authority and i'm broken that what i have become after getting so many blessings and now my spirit is broken and i do not know what to do i'm grieved in my heart that's why my spirit is broken My heart is broken my heart is standing against me My heart is saying that you are not worthy My heart is saying that you should not ever be blessed for what you have done But then he cries out in prayer he says oh god Oh Jesus like we cry he says the sacrifice of a god are a broken spirit and a broken and a contrite heart and then he says oh god oh that's a cry of the lord and he's saying thou will not despise i feel that god is speaking to me through these scriptures that how like david god puts his trust on our lives that we would do exactly what god wants us to do but when we get into that place of authority we misuse us misuse it we abuse that place of authority forgetting about anybody when you are there in the place of position you would speak whatever you want you will do whatever you want you will live the way you want to live you know why because now you are in position but over the span of time when all of a sudden you are in a prayer meeting like this or might be you are at home you're reading the word you realize what mistake you have done and you just get on to your knees or might be you just bend yourself down in whichever place you are and you're weeping like david and you're saying god forgive me i did not understand i didn't comply with your standard i did not do accordingly what i should have done and you might be broken just like david and you're saying jesus have mercy on me david is saying i know that he will not despise the broken hearted isn't it good 
that even out of our mistakes, God's eyes are on us. Just like David. And he's saying that, Lord, I know you will not despise me. You know what is the meaning of despise? It means, tu mujhe apni nazar mein chota nahi samjhega. Tu mujhe tuch nahi janega. Ha, Prabhu, tu to grahna karta hai tute huye dil ke balidaan ko. Tu grahna karta hai tute huye dil ko. Mein to raja banaya gaya hu. Kya tha? Mein meri aukaat kya thi? Mein to ek chota sa ladka tha. Jab tu ne mujhe chuna, mein to apne baap ki bheno ko chara raha tha. Aur tu ne mere upar vishwaas kiya ki tu mujhe raja bana de. Apne poore Israel के लोगों को मेरे हाथ में रख दे अरे मेरा बाप मेरे अपनी भेड़ों को मेरे हाथ में रखने से कतराता था और तूने पूरे इसराइल को मेरे हाथ में कर दिया तूने मुझे राजा बना दिया और जब मैं राजा बन गया तो मैं भूल गया कि मैं किस लिए राजा बनाया गया था अरे तूने देखा था कि मैं शीप के लिए एक छोटी सी भेड़ के लिए अपनी जान देने के लिए तैयार हो गया हो जाया करता था तूने मुझे राजा बना दिया क्योंकि तूने विश्वास किया जो अपनी बाप की भेड़ों के लिए अपनी जान दे देगा वो अपने आसमानी बाप की भेड़ों के लिए क्या कुछ ना करेगा पर हे खुदा देख मैंने क्या किया है उस भेड़ को जिसको मुझे बचाना चाहिए था मैंने मार दिया है मुझे क्या हो गया है जब मैं आज राजा बन गया हूं वट हैपन टू मी वेन आई बिकम द किंग मैं भूल गया हूं क्या जब मैं छोटा सा दाऊद था मेरा दिल कितना अच्छा था मेरा दिल कितना खूबसूरत था अरे शेर एक बार आया था मेरे बाप की भेड़ को लेने के लिए तो मैंने अपनी जान की बाजी लगा दी थी उस भेड़ को बचाने के लिए पर आज ये मैं क्या बन गया हूं मैं तो बचाने वाला था मैं बचाने वाले से मारने वाला कब बन गया हे खुदा मेरा दिल टूट गया है मैं तो एक खराब व्यक्ति बन गया हूं हो सकता है शायद आप भी इसी तरीके से दुआ कर रहे हो दाऊद की तरह दुआ कर रहे हो कह रहे हो खुदा बाप आज मेरे टूटे हुए दिल को देख ही वॉज रियली क्राइंग ही वॉज रियली रिपेंटिंग ही वॉज सिंग गेव मी आई शुड बिकम दिस दाऊद कह रहा है वो टूटे हुए बलिदान को तुच्छ नहीं जानता है आपके टूटे हुए दिल को छोटा नहीं जानता है एंड वेन आई लुक इन द बाइबल दिस इज नॉट वन वर्ड द वर्ड इज देर आर The the Bible is full of many verses. You know what it says here in Psalms 34 and 18. It says, "The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit." परमेश्वर का वचन बताता है भजन संहिता छत्तीस में और उसके अठारवे अध्याय में कि वो जो टूटे मन के होते हैं वो उसके करीब होता है और वो जिनकी आत्मा बिल्कुल व्यक्षित होती है या टूटी हुई होती है वो उनके करीब होता है इज इंट इट गुड दैट आर गॉड डीव अस इन आर सिंफुल स्टेट साम्स वन फोर्टी सेवन एंड वर्स थ्री सो ब्यूटिफुल ही सेज हीस द ब्रोकन हार्टेड एंड बाइंड अप दूड परमेश्वर का वचन बता रहा है कि वो टूटे हुए मन वालों के करीब होता है उनको वो चंगाई देता है और लिखा हुआ है उनके घाव के ऊपर वो पट्टी को बांधता है गुनाह सिर्फ आपको और चोट पहुंचाता है गुनाह आपके दिल को तोड़ देता है It just breaks you. When you come to know what you have done, what happens to you? Did you think about it? What happens to you when you come to the realization of the very fact that what I have done might be in your office. All of a sudden, if you have done something wrong in your office, might be if you are in a process or you are a computer engineer or you are a software engineer. I don't know what position you handle, but while you are working, if you do some error, what would you do? You would be shaken to the core. Now you have either two choices: you just say what you have done that is wrong, admit it and be remorseful about it, be broken in yourself and and correct it, or you can just hide it and cover it and act funny like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. But you know what word of God is saying? A person who would be broken in the spirit, who would be wounded by his mistakes, God is saying, "I will come and heal that wound." That's what a Christian is. He doesn't want you to just, you know, cover up all the mistakes that you have done by your talent and by your words. He wants you to be broken in the spirit, be wounded in the spirit. Yes, people will come against you and do things that are wrong. But let me tell you, if you remain Christian, God is taking this 
In his hand, he's saying, I will fight your case if your heart is right. And I will fight your case if you have decided to make it right. I will stand for you and I will heal your situation. He's saying, if you are wounded, I will come and wrap up your wound and heal it. Hallelujah. Yeah. He will heal it. Do you trust in God? And do you want to just go into his presence that says, yes, Lord, I am that person. I have sinned against you and my heart is broken. Yes, might be I've sinned against my wife. Might be I've sinned against my husband. Might be I've sinned against my children. Might be I've sinned against my church. Might be I've sinned against my boss that is in the office. Might be I've sinned against the company. I've done things that are wrong and I have not been sorry for it for a long time. But today, oh Lord, I'm understanding if I am going to be sorry for it. If my heart is broken for it, you will come and heal my heart. If I am sorry, I know when I would say sorry to my boss, to my wife, to my house, my, my church, or to my people. If I'm going to say sorry, there is a possibility that they may come and wound me. But would you still put your trust in the Lord, believing even if the people wound you, God will heal you. God is saying even if the people will wound you, I would come and bind those wounds. Isn't it amazing? That when people are deciding to hurt you, God is deciding to heal you. Only if you say, I am ready. I'm ready to do what is right in the sight of the Lord. Because he has promised if you're really broken, if you're really repentant, no matter what happens, he will heal you. He will cover you up. I want to take you to the book of Isaiah chapter 57 and verse 15. It says like this, for thus says the high and exalted one who lives forever, whose name is holy. I dwell on a high and holy place. And this one is so important. And also with the contrite and lowly of spirit. In order to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. I love this. God is saying that I am going to be with the lowly people. I'm going to be with the one who is, what is the meaning of lowly? The people who are so low in the spirit. He's saying the people who are low in the spirit, I am going to be with you for what? To revive you. Hallelujah. प्रभु कह रहा है वो जो अपनी आत्मा में शोकित है मैं उनके साथ हूं ताकि मैं उनको पुरुषाहित कर सकूं ताकि मैं उनको उठा सकूं I have a good news for you my friend if your spirit is broken God is saying I am near to you I will revive you I will heal your broken heart I will heal your wound because my desire is to heal your broken heart my desire is that I may wrap around your wounds the medicine that would heal you up I want to show you some examples from the word of God. How Jesus went on healing the broken hearted. The whole ministry of Jesus was the ministry of compassion. Prabhu Yeshu Masih ki sari ministry ye thi. Ki wo sirf ja ke un logo ke marram aur patti kiya karta ta. Jin ka dil tuta ho. Jin ki halat kharab ho. Mein khuda ka shukar karta hon ki usne asman ki wo baadshahat ko zameen par Yeshu Masih ki shakal ke andar dikha diya. Ki kya hota hai asman mein. तो उसने दिखा दिया कि आसमान में जो खुशी है वो यीशु मसीह में जमीन पर पाई जा सकती है गॉड हैज शोन दैट द जॉय दैट इज इन हेवन कैन बी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड ऑन अर्थ इन जीसस दैट्स व्हाई पॉल सेज आई कैन डू ऑल थिंग्स थ्रू क्राइस्ट यू कैन रिसीव दैट जॉय यू कैन रिसीव दैट हीलिंग यू कैन रिसीव that anointing upon your life that can work in lives of people and transform it and change it. You can receive that healing in your hearts in this morning. And God is able to change it. I want to show you a woman in the word of God who was caught in adultery. Forget about those times. Even today, if a woman is caught in adultery, sleeping with another man, what would you do? No one, no one would like it. No one would appreciate it. And there is a lady who was caught sleeping with another man red-handed. And not in this culture, in that culture. Imagine the atrocity multiplied multiple times. And she was brought to Jesus. And Jesus was asked, what should we do with this woman? 
You know what happened at that time? Every man who was religious picked up the stone. Isn't it amazing that religion always picks up the stone to hit each other? The religion is ready to just pick up the stone. But Christianity, a Christ never picks up stone, let me tell you. When everybody was just busy, let's stone her to death. Oh, that is sin. Do you know that? When you sin, people put you down and take you to grave because they know that sin takes you to grave. But you know what Jesus did? He died in that grave for you and he let you go free. He doesn't want you to go to that grave. That's why he died on the cross. That's why when we say that Jesus died for me on the cross, you are saying, I should have been there because I sinned. I should have been grave, be in grave. But you know what? Jesus went in that grave instead of you. And he said, let this man go free. Look at this chapter. This is so beautiful. John chapter 8 and verse 7 to 11. I'm going to read it for you in English. It says like this. So when they continued asking him, you know what they were asking? Uh, tell me who should hit her. Tell me what should be done with this lady. Let's kill her. Bible says, so when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto him, look at this. He said, he that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Verse 8 says, and again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, begging at the beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone. And the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus has lifted up himself and saw none, but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. No man. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. This is Jesus. कहाँ है वो जो तुझे गुनहगार बता रहे थे औरत कह रही है चले गए और यीशु कह रहा है तू भी चली जा Yes, he's saying to you. I let you go free. I will take the pain and the stones for you. I will heal you. I will be wounded for you. You don't need to. This is Jesus. Luke chapter 9 and verse 38 to 42 is a beautiful example of a father and a son. This father and a son was brought to Jesus. Or let me say this father and a son came to Jesus and they were weeping and they were crying. This father was agonizing in the spirit and he was saying, Jesus, do you know what has happened to my son? Jesus, do you know what's going on in my family? And he said, Jesus, when, when my son sees the fire, he wants to go and jump inside the fire. When he sees the water, my son wants to go and jump in the water. I don't know what's gone with him. Might be people think he's a lunatic. Might be people think that, you know, my, my, my son has lost the mind. In fact, Lord, I think my son has lost the mind. Lord Jesus, do you know that I even brought him to your disciples? There is no solution for my problem. I don't know what's gone wrong in my family. I don't know what's wrong with me, God. But would you help me? There was no solution to his problem. There was a demon inside of this boy and nobody could heal him. I want you, I want you to read this passage. Luke chapter 9, 38 to verse 42. It says like this. And behold, a man of the company cried out. He's broken in his heart saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son. 
for he is mine only child and i love that and lo a spirit taketh him and he suddenly crieth out and it teareth him that he foameth again and bruising him hardly departed from him kehne laga dekho iske andar koi atma hai jo use phaad deti hai usko chote pahunchati hai ye apne muh se jhaag phekne lagta hai and i besought thy disciples to cast him out and they could not main ise tere chelo ke paas leke aayi par leke aaya par ye bhi kuch nahi kar paaye and jesus answering said o oh, faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you and suffer you bring thy son hither it is like jesus saying to them how long would you not still believe that i am a compassionate god that i am a healing god and why don't you put your trust in me why don't you still believe in me why don't you have faith in me that i am the one and in my name the healing can take place in my name i can deliver the people why how long you think i am going to be present in the flesh why don't you rise up in your spirit why don't you allow your spirit to understand that i am demonstrating the love of god on earth i am the son of god i am god and my name is enough You know what was the problem with them their trust was in the disciples of Jesus than Jesus himself because this man is saying i brought him to the disciples and Jesus is saying how long will i bear with this perverse generation why did you bring him to my disciples rather than bringing him to me why is your trust in the people rather than me and why do you think and put your trust in the sickness you think that that sickness is so big that nobody can heal why do you even say that i want to tell you my friend whether you are watching me through the television whether you are watching it through the internet broadcast right now i want to tell you there is no sickness greater than the compassion of jesus christ when compassion of jesus christ gets in then every demonic act activity has to get out because it is jesus compassion that is greater than anything because he wants to heal heal you he wants to bind your broken heart and look what jesus said after that right right after that right after that it says like this from once verse 42 and he as he was yet a coming Or rather verse 41 it says and Jesus answering it said oh faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you and suffer you bring thy son hither अपने बेटे को मेरे पास लेके आओ वर्स फॉर इू एंड एज ही वॉज येट कमिंग द डेवल थ्रू हिम डाउन एंड टेयर हिम एंड जीजस रिब्यूक द अनक्लीन स्पिरिट एंड हील द चाइल्ड एंड डिलीवर हिम अगेन टू हिज फादर हाल लूया जस्ट विथ वन वर्ड ऑफ जीजस लुक द कंपैशन इन इज हार्ट लुक एट दैट कंपैशन उस प्यार को देखिए जो खुदा के अंदर है देखिए किस तरीके से उस उस बाप को उसने हैंडल किया जस्ट ब्रिंग हिम आई एम यू आर सच अ बिग हार यू नो सो मेनी पीपल अराउंड यू एंड नो बडी कैन गेट टू यू बट जीजस सेइंग ब्रिंग हिम टू मी ओ ही बट बट ही इज विद अ अनक्लीन स्पिरिट यू नो दैट ही इज नॉट अ हाई प्रोफाइल गाय गॉड ही इज सम फादर समवेयर He's just an ordinary man somewhere. Jesus, do you really care about somebody who's somewhere? Yes, I do care. Bring him to me. I will heal him. All those people who are watching everywhere, let me tell you that Jesus is just not the God of the top ones. Jesus is also the God of the one right there, jinki koi aqad log nahi samajhte hain. The blood of the lamb. blood of jesus christ was not only shed for those on the top it was also shed for the people way down there you are not so rich that you cannot come to jesus you are not so poor that the love of christ can never reach you it is inexpensive in those matter but highly treasured i want to show you one more woman Luke chapter 8 verse 43 and verse 43 to verse 48 Luke chapter 8 from verse 43 to 48 and it says like this and a woman having an issue of blood 12 years which had spent all her living upon physicians neither could be healed of any she had been to many doctors no doctor could heal her and behind and and, and behind him came behind him and touched the border of his garment and immediately her issue of blood stanched and jesus said who touched me when all denied 
Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged thee and pressed thee and says thou who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody had touched me, for I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, oh my God, look at that ordinary woman. She has been everywhere. Nobody could heal him, heal her. And all of a sudden she finds that God walking in flesh on the street and she just dared to come from somewhere behind and just touched her. And when Jesus asked who touched me, nobody was even thinking that they can come dare close to him. But you know what? This lady dared enough to come forward and said, sorry Jesus, but I touched your garment. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not pure. I've been bleeding from last 12 years. But you know Jesus, when I touched you, I was healed in the body. And Jesus looked at her and said, daughter, daughter, betty, betty. आपको नहीं मालूम है शायद आपको ऐसा लगता है आप योग्य नहीं है आप साफ नहीं है आप पवित्र नहीं है पर खुदा आपको कह रहा है बेटी बेटी मुझे नहीं मालूम इसका बाप कहाँ था मुझे नहीं मालूम है इसके रिलेटिव कहाँ थे पर इसने एक नया रिश्ता पाया है खुदा में I don't know where the father is. I do not know where the husband is. I don't know whether she has brother or a sister or not. But there she found a father and he said, my daughter. And you know what he said? Daughter, be of good comfort. Don't worry. I know people what they are saying. Don't touch him. Or I know what people are doing. But he said, daughter, be of good comfort. Isn't it beautiful? Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith had made thee whole. And then he says, go in peace. That's Father. That's Jesus. मैं उम्मीद करता हूं आज इस मैसेज के द्वारा परमेश्वर ने आपसे बात करी होगी हो सकता है कि आपका दिल आज बहुत टूटा हो मालूम नहीं किस वजह से टूटा है पर मैं ये जरूर जानता हूं आज परमेश्वर आपके दिल को चंगाई देगा आइए मेरे साथ प्रार्थना करिए अगर आप चाहते हैं कि वो चंगाई जो प्रभु यीशु मसीह एक तोहफे के रूप में आपको देता आपके दिल में आ जाए अपने हाथों को जोड़ लें अपनी आंखों को बंद कर लें मैं आपके साथ प्रार्थना करना चाहता हूँ प्रभु यशु मसीह आज मैं अपने इस भाई और बहन के लिए जो टेलीविजन स्क्रीन के सामने बैठे हैं प्रार्थना करता हूं मुझे नहीं मालूम क्या रीजन है इनके दिल टूटने का हो सकता है शायद पैसा रीजन है हो सकता है शायद बीमारी रीजन है हो सकता है प्रभु कोई ऐसी बात है जिसकी वजह से इनका दिल बहुत बुरी तरीके से टूट गया है जो ये किसी के साथ नहीं बांट सकते हैं आज प्रार्थना करता हूं इनको छू लीजिए और अपनी चंगाई दीजिए अगर ये अमीर हैं और ये सोचते हैं कि अमीर प्रवेश नहीं कर सकता परमेश्वर के राज में तो आज प्रार्थना करता हूं खुद अबाब आज ये बंधन टूट जाइए जान जाए कि हर अमीर प्रवेश कर सकता है अगर ये गरीब है और सोच रहे हैं मैं गरीब हूं मैं प्रवेश नहीं कर सकता हूं परमेश्वर के राज में तो ये जान जाए ना कोई अमीर है ना कोई गरीब है परमेश्वर की नजर में जो कोई टूटे दिल का है और उसे पुकार रहा है वो उसके दिल को सही करेगा चंगा करेगा खुदाबाप आज मैं प्रार्थना करता हूं मेरे प्रभु मेरे परमेश्वर कि आज आप इनकी सब परेशानियों से इन्हें बाहर निकाल लीजिए और इनके दिल को चंगा कर दीजिए प्रभु यीशु मसीह आपकी शांति इनके जीवन में प्रवेश करे यीशु मसीह के नाम से आमीन